Glad you could join us today on Netfile. Welcome to the program. I'm Ayola Kasim. Every year, thousands of tons of garbage wind up in the oceans, with 60% of that being composed of plastic material. Plastic especially lasts a very long time in the ocean and are in such abundance that there are 46,000 individual pieces of plastic litter for every square mile of ocean. Coastal Cleanup Day was established by the Ocean Conservancy, an organization that works to help protect the ocean from the challenges it faces every year. Here in Nigeria, volunteers in Lagos State joined the rest of the world by cleaning up the Aleko Beach and the lagoon front of the University of Lagos. Marine litter is a growing environmental concern and the top five most commonly collected items are cigarette butts, plastic beverage bottles, food wrappers, plastic bottle caps and plastic straws. All these items are in form of plastic debris. This year marks the Ocean Conservancy's 31st International Coastal Cleanup Day which stems towards tide against marine litter. In 2015, volunteers around the world, including Nigeria, gathered to clean up ocean shores. 2015 reports shows that more than 225 million items of trash have been logged and removed from our beaches and waterways. Some of the unusual items found in that cleanup include 97 TV sets, 28 refrigerators, 39 toilets and 54 bicycles. The government has a part to play. The people have a part to play. The government will not enter each and every one of one's homes and say, keep your environment clean. No. What they can to do is create awareness to ensure that we comply. I would say first and foremost, there are social issues. So you find people from different walks of life People with different interesting habits, clean and unclean, come into Lagos. Some of the top 10 items collected globally by environmental experts and volunteers last year are cigarette butts with over 2,127,565. Plastic beverage bottles, 1,024,470 to food wrappers with total 888,589, plastic bottle caps 861,340, straws, stirrers 439,571. Others are plastic bags, which is 424,934, glass beverage bottles 402,375, Plastic grocery bags, 402,122. Metal bottle caps, 381,669. And plastic lids, 351,585. Because of this alarming figure of debris in water bodies in Nigeria, over 300 volunteers from Marine and Coastal Conservation Society of Nigeria, Nigerian Institute for Oceanography and Marine Research, FABE International Foundation and Friends of the Environment, gathered at Eleko Beach, Leki Ekbe Expressway, and the Lagoon Front, University of Lagos, as part of world's largest single-day beach cleanup. If we're having an event at the human activity around the water banks and around the uh, beaches should be what uh, well, well done in such a way that we can recover the waste we generate at that point. Trash has severe impacts on life, you know. The ocean is a source of life. So anything that affects the ocean will affect the air we breathe in. It will affect the food we eat. 
and it will affect the water we use. So if there is trash in our ocean, it's affecting every aspect of our life because every human being has to use uh, fresh air, you know, clean water and good and healthy food. And trash is deleterious to each and every one of these. You know, if, if there is trash in the ocean, the seafood becomes tainted and also the, the, the water we drink is no more pure. You know, and also the air, the quality of air is also poorly. So we came together to take the trash off our beaches to promote what we call cleaner and healthier beaches in Nigeria. I found out that um, pet bottles are actually endangering the marine life and if care is not taken, some of this marine food that we eat, you know, we might just find out that these plas plastic bottles or pet bottles are uh, in them and thereby, I mean, what does that mean? We get to eat it. Aleko Beach is one of the most visited tourist attractions in Lagos State. But the beach is already losing its beauty. And the Lagos State Government, through the Commissioner for the Environment, promises that the beach shore is being looked into and work is getting done. The sea or the water, they find very close to them, is not for dumping. In the least, it can never be for dumping. You have fishes in there, you have aquatic organisms, more than fish, crab, everything. You have a lot of them. You have seagulls, all of them. They are there, whales, a lot of it. Crocodiles in some places. These are organisms that God has put in our ecosystem. They have a function they are carrying out to sustain that ecosystem for our own better living. So when you dump waste into those things, you are making the place difficult for them to live. You are making the sea not, you know, not well again for, for fishes to, to, to thrive in, for those aquatic organisms to thrive in. So therefore, whatever they are, whatever the function they are carrying out, are carrying out to maintain good ecosystem, we will have been affected. So we should stop dumping. Bag your refuse properly. With the reform coming in, just bag your refuse, put it where you're in front of your house. People will come and carry it. Look, we are engaging people. We are going to engage a lot of uh, some uh, companies that will come and help us in managing some of our waste. Experts say fishing-related gear, balloons and plastic bags were estimated to pose the greatest entanglement risk to marine fauna. Waste is a serious and growing problem in Nigeria, with remote locations, limited space and growing populations. But plastic bags and plastic utensils are ranked as the greatest threats. At the Aleko Beach and Lagoon Front of the University of Lagos, volunteers covered about seven kilometers land mass in picking up debris of different types. This year, volunteers are not only removing more trash from beaches, but they are also contributing to a better understanding of the types of waste entering the ocean. Some of the volunteers analyze the ecological impacts on aquatic life in the ocean and other water bodies. We want to bring this to the awareness of um, people around so that they will um, know that they shouldn't um, bring deaths, they should not bring deaths close to the, to the ocean. 
And uh, I know by the time we organize this kind of um, exercise uh, regularly, the awareness will be you know, well enough to sanitize uh, people around. What I will advocate is that um, if you tag each bin for bottle, for plastic, and as soon as they are coming to the beach, the people in charge of the beach tell them this is what you're supposed to do. Every human being will trash normally if they, those things are put in the right places. People keep going to the beaches, they go there for fun, they go there for leisure, you know, they go there to read sometimes. And you know, as human beings, you'll always generate waste. And what it is that would be good is if they could, as they go to these places, carry along um, a waste bin, a waste bag, or something that they could pour their waste in until we make it a habit of putting you know, proper waste bins that will also be cleared by the waste management companies that are assigned to that. With this knowledge comes the responsibility to seek the most effective solutions to stop the flow of plastics into our ocean. That is why the Lagos State Government has acquired a high-tech machine to clear some of the debris on waterways within the state. But some people just they don't understand what you mean by recycling. So the best way they know is to put the waste wherever they can find it. What really upsets me, you find people, now these are not the illiterate people. We have find educated people in cars on Third Mainland Bridge throwing waste out of their cars in motion. That is unacceptable. But you find those dirty habits amongst a better percentage of us. I don't have data to back it up. But you have that attitude of, Loma will clean it. And people are not taking personal responsibility. Now that is another issue. People are not taking personal responsibility for the cleanliness of their environment. Our shorelines, they are supposed to be um, things of joy to us. They are, they are, they are what we should, we should pride ourselves on. Uh, they should confer to us extreme beauty, good aesthetics, if we keep them neat and clean. is a, 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 a source of good value to us as a people. Uh, a lot of people want to live by the shoreline because we have a lot of peace. The aesthetic value is so, uh, is some, it can be unimaginable. It has beauty to the environment. Some advice was given by volunteers, especially towards behavioral change. The aquatic animals are in danger. The, the fishes that are there, they, and the birds sometimes as well, who are there, they swallow some of these um, waste. And you know that whatever it is that's there, whatever it is that's in the water, that we eat, whatever it is they're eating, we eventually eat it as well. So people, for example, who defecate, they think that they've defecated in the water and that's it. But the animals that live there, that we then kill and eat, we're eating what it is like. So all that defecation that you think has gone away, it's not gone anywhere. It actually comes back to you, which of course causes a sort of um, waterborne diseases, you know, typhoid and diarrhea and all that. We needed them to understand that we're not just cleaning for fun, we're cleaning because we want to make sure that the marine life is no longer endangered. And the fact that we need to reduce the amount of waste, you know, that we generate. Yeah, the population is increasing every day and so also is the waste. But we are humans and we have the knowledge, the wisdom to reduce our, our waste as best as possible.